At the Clarkston Family Farm, once a month we have these free family fun days. We have partnered, actually it's been almost five years now, with some local activists. Um, and they're connected with Monarch Watch, but they also just care deeply about the Monarch Butterfly and a lot of other nature-based programming. Um, and those folks, they have partnered with our farm, again, almost five years ago now, to do a once a year Monarch Butterfly Festival. And the Clarkston Family Farm was just such a natural fit for these kinds of activities because obviously our mission is all about connecting kids with the natural world. And what better way to do it with lots of wonderful people, art, experts um, that know so much about the monarch butterfly and other butterflies and moths and how we can teach our community about the importance of host plants. Planting milkweed is a great example of a host plant. So the Michigan Monarch Butterfly Festival, we've done now four years. We did take a year off last year, but we hope that we'll continue this tradition each year here at the Clarkston Family Farm, inviting people out to uh, enjoy the beautiful space, learn about this really special insect that has captured all of our hearts and could really use our help. So it's gotten quite a bit of um, coverage in the news lately. Um, one of the biggest things that we like to promote at the festival is to learn all you can about, about the monarchs and what's happening and they can definitely do this at the festival. Um, but most organizations suggest three things, reducing pesticide use, um, trying to curb climate change, and restore habitat. And the habitat. And we restore have a habitat. lot of groups yes. here that help. The Blue Heron Conservancy yeah. helps create local habitats within North Oakland County. And they have a over 50, 60 sites where they protect the habitat for various species, not just the monarch. We have a native plant nursery. I'm hoping people will go to the native plant nursery and get plants that they can start their own mini little nature center in their yard. It wouldn't take a lot of property, just a little bit of your yard, and then you wouldn't have to mow it if it's a beautiful flowering garden, which is beneficial to the pollinators, and we all need pollinators. So this year, we have more people than we've ever had before. I love that all of our family fun days continue to grow um, and we offer different activities and we engage um, other local nonprofits. We have many, many local farmers and vendors here. I would say the biggest difference this year is just the scale. Um, we have 15 different activities for our friends to do. We have 12 different vendors. We have five different local nonprofits and um, we have many hundreds of caterpillars uh, to give away, so pretty exciting. Hi friends, Chelsea O'Brien here at the Clarkston Family Farm during our Monarch Butterfly Festival, and are you guys having fun? Yeah. Awesome. So I have three friends here, and um, they are volunteers at our farm, and this is Bella, Hi. and this is Charlie, Hi. and this is Annie. Hi. Charlie's been through our Camp Wild program, but he's also done Garden Club and helps out a lot at the farm. And you guys are helping with a game that we're calling the Making a Monarch Life Cycle Game. Can you tell me what the kids were doing? So they were going to um, see around the world, well, um, around the campus, seeing how um, a butterfly is made. So they would like go um, over here, they would find the eggs that they hatch when they go, um, when they go somewhere warm. Then they come over here and then they um, go into their lava, which is their um, like chrys um, um, chrysalis, uh -huh. and they go over here and then crawl, 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 and then they become a beautiful butterfly. They can become a beautiful butterfly. Do you guys know where the butterflies go? over winter because they don't stay in Michigan do they do you know where they go yes. Charlie where do they go they go all the way to Mexico they go all the way to Mexico and so part of our game is they have to sip some nectar right mm -hmm. so they sip some nectar and they go to Mexico and one of the things we're trying to teach people today about is that we need to not only plant milkweed mm -hmm. but we also need to plant flowers right we need yeah. to plant flowers and we need to make sure they have plenty of nectar to have mm -hmm. so do you guys want to give me a one two three dig it because you know i like that so let's do one two three dig it, dig it! 